Hello, welcome to my studio. So today I'm working in my Dilutions journal and I am going to work on a face. Now, you know, if you follow me at all, that I do enjoy drawing faces. And it's a rainy day here. It's a, pr it's a pretty day though, it's a, it's a quiet rain. And I'm just taking a plain old number two mechanical pencil and I'm just gonna draw the basic outline of this face. And I'm just going to, I don't even know that this will be where they end up, but I'm gonna put in some eyes just so again, so I can kind of get a feel of where I'm going with this. And I've got my Prismacolors. Now I am not one of these wonderful colored pencil artists that can just do magic and create art that almost looks like photographs. No, I wish. But no, that's not me. So I have my white <laughs> eraser. A white block eraser, it leaves very little crumbs and it really tears up the paper the least of anything I've ever used. I'm almost, you know, as I sit here, I feel like I'm a little bit close to you know, like the, the picture. So I just have to kind of move back a little and lately I feel like I've been making the mouths awfully big and the eyes awfully big, which sometimes I think we're kind of getting the feel of that because people are exaggerating these parts so 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 much i'm not saying it's a bad thing but i just think that my eye is is maybe i'm making excuses it it feels like like maybe my eye is is just getting a little too used to these big bold eyes and these exaggerated lips i don't know but anyway, what inspired me to, to do this today was I saw a picture on Google and it was of a woman drawing. It was, I mean, not she wasn't drawing, a drawing of a woman and where her hairline is, that's where the drawing stopped. So already I'm feeling like maybe I have her a little too low in the picture. Maybe I should bring her up because there's not going to be anything here that makes the face sit off below. See, that's why I, and I am not an artist that says, uh, don't erase. Oh no, I erase, I erase, I erase. So feel free. <laughs> it's my art journal. I can do what I want. And I'm using colored pencil. I'm going to try to get these shavings off into my hand. Uh, I'm using colored pencils, so I'm not worried about ripping up my paper a whole lot, you know, like if you're using watercolor and you disturb the surface. Okay, so I started her too low. Let's, maybe if I just start with an eye. And an eye apart. because I do want both of her eyes in the picture. And her nose. And then her mouth. Okay, now. I like this better. I like I like the position of it better. I'm still I'm, I'm I've got work to do. So her head would start about here to have her eyes be in the middle. So I'm just going to Oh, do I like that? I don't know. Let's see. And maybe No, don't like that at all. <laughs> oh, 
Julie. Hey, you know, these things are never as easy as they look. Not that this looked easy to me, but all right. Now, okay, I'm liking this whole kind of a thing better. Yes. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Now again, how successful am I going to be with this? I have no idea. But it may turn out to be a mess. Now my goal is that what I what I would like is to use graphite as the shading instead of, you know, I usually kind of use purple and this kind of thing. This time I would really like to use more um, just shading with graphite and, and not make it all color, color, color. But we'll see. We'll see. All right. Let's just see. I think I still don't like this. I like the other side better. But I think this could come up even higher. I think this could come more like that. And yes, okay. And then this out here. All right, all right. Now I'm feeling even more comfortable. Okay. All right. Throat. And let's, let's get started here. Okay. So I think I'm going to start with her eyes and I'm just going to put in, um, I'm going to start with white. I'm going to just put in her sclera, the white part. And get those landmarks in. And I'm going to give her, I'm going to start with green. And big irises that you don't see the top or the bottom. And I'm just going to fill this in. But we're going to be putting more color in. I just, I find that if I can get the eyes in, it helps me get a better grip on the rest of it. And the background, I just took a stencil and I took some of my sprays, some of the stains instead of the d deep dark. And I, and I just misted it through a stencil, just, just quick and nothing complicated at all. All right, now her nose. I'm going to, I like the placement. I'm not sure it's really big enough. So I'm just gonna widen it out a little bit. Now that's wrong because her mouth is here, so I kind of want the middle. Yeah, let's work with that. Okay, let's start some coloring in. I'm going to start with kind of a fleshy tone, a Caucasian fleshy tone. Why do I do Caucasian? Well, because I'm Caucasian. Not that that's an important factor other than that's what I see when I look in the mirror. You know, so... It's what I'm most familiar with. I have drawn other races. If you watch my videos, if you've looked at my uh, Instagram or my uh, Facebook, you'll see I, I do draw and paint and use all kinds of races. But when I'm just sitting down to draw at my desk, it usually is going to be Caucasian because again, it's what I'm most familiar with. Oh, 
Okay. I did sharpen these pencils, but the paper that I'm on, which is I'm working in my Dilusions Large Art Journal, this does tend to eat up a pencil. With, you know, it's fine, but it, it does, so... Now her face is going to have a lot more colors than just this, but it's a it's a good base, and again, it kind of helps me see my landmarks. And I like the fact that you can still see the painting underneath. That's okay with me. Maybe she'll kind of look I don't know, kind of I don't know, kind of ghostly, you know, like we're seeing through her. Could be. It's really whatever you want it to be. And I've already run this down, so let me just give it a quick sharpen. I always keep a metal sharpener. I use a manual sharpener, not an electric sharpener, but I like, you know, at the dollar store, you can get them and they're plastic and they don't work well. And this is like less than $3 for $2.35 about. You can get a metal one. And honestly, you'll just be a whole lot less frustrated. So I recommend it. A lot of artists use, especially, I mean, in, in the women that and men that do colored pencils and just use them all the time and, and do beautiful work. Well, they'll use electric. My problem is I just tend to grind my pencils away. So that's why. I'm going with using the, the manual rather than the mechanical. Okay. And she's just going to kind of blend out into the background. Okay. Good, good, and good. Now, where am I going from here? Let's... I'm going to go darker a shade this is called peach and see if I can just kind of work in her nose a little bit and her lips I'm going to go ahead and shade them right in one of the things I like about Prismacolor, it's very, for me, it, my experience, it's been very um, layerable. So, now again, I want the bulk of my shading to be with graphite, but I'm just putting in a little of this so, again, I can, I can see. I want to be able to see. Okay. I'm beginning to see. <laughs> All right, I want to get the pink in her eye. And a little bit of that watermark. And this is where you've got to balance to give it life, but not make it um, look bloodshot or pink eye. And I'm going to go ahead and put the same pink on her upper lip. And I think I'm going to put a little bit of this shading on her nose. Okay. A little bit of shading here. Okay. And more to her eye. Um, I did pull to the side some of the colors that I Notice that I tend to want to use, but I can't find them. Uh, like sapia. Is that what that is? Yeah, sapia. It's a brown. It's not black. So I just feel like it's a, a little bit gentler, a little bit friendlier. I'm just making the outline of her eye. again, this to me gives the eye more life. 
I'm going to try another layer of white to see if I can whiten up these sclera a little bit. The sclera is the, the white of your eye. And I definitely think we're getting a little more white going this time. Okay, now I want to get a darker green. So this is olive. Not very sharp, but that's okay. And I'm just going to go on the outermost edge. Your eye iris, the colored part, tends to be the darkest. Other than the pupil, it's the darkest on the outside. And then radiating towards the middle it gets lighter, the color part, but you usually have a, a defined little bit darker line on the outside of your eye. Okay. I'm starting to see her a little better. How about you? Okay, I'm going to grab another green and... I want to go even darker if I can. What are you? Dark green. And I'm going to go kind of fuzzy this way. Just along the outside. And your iris, it's a lens. It opens and closes to let more light in or not, not so much light in. And so the lines of this are from the pupil out. And so that's what I'm trying to replicate. Now your eyes also reflect what's around you and what you're looking at. So to add a little spark of color here or there is not a bad thing. I'm going to put a little violet in. And I'm just going to add it up here to the top. It's best in the eyes to have the, the, the left eye and the right eye, what, what you do to one, do to the other the same. I'm going to go ahead and put some of this violet right on the edge, just real, real light, but it's there. I'm just defining that edge a little bit more. Okay, and we're going to have some highlight in there as well as a pupil. Um, I'm going to take this violet and I'm going to just suggest these nostrils and then a little bit of the color underneath and I think I'm going to define the outside of her lips a little bit with this violet shade the top lip a little more I'm going to shade the bottom lip a little more right in here it's right at the bottom edge. And then I'm going to just go around. You do have lines in your lips that, again, they go from the kind of the inside out. And the direction you put those lines help make a difference in the shaping, how the, how the mouth, the lips tend to want to be shaped. And I'm going to just put a white for a highlight. And now I'm going to go back to this lip color. This is magenta. And put in the demarcation between her upper and her lower lip. All right. I am liking this. I'm giving her a little bit of lip liner. All right, let's go back to the eyelid. I'm going to use, again, a little bit darker in the, still in kind of the skin tone -y. This isn't quite pink, but it's the best I can see for right now. I'm going with it. This is blush pink. And I'm just putting this in again, kind of as a, 
as a demarcation, but I want to give her kind of smoky eyes. So I'm going to be working with more shadowing around her eyes. And I am going to give her eyebrows. So let's think about that. I'm going to go with the sapia again. And I'm just making short strokes to kind of replicate individual hair strands. Eyebrows are rarely the same from right to left. Now that people are using templates and uh, stencils to fill in, they're mo much more exact. But she's not, she's not doing that yet. She's got Julie doing her makeup, so poor thing. Okay. All righty. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. All right. It's time to start shading. The only thing is I didn't really do much with her nose. I think I'm going to go with this beige again. And give it a quick color in but your nose is really lighter because it's the furthest out and it catches light so I want to start I want to start adding some kind of magic of shadow so I've got my this is a Prismacolor jet black extra smooth and then I don't even know if it's really a graphite. This one is graphite drawing. So I think I'll start with that one. Don't know why, but I'm gonna go ahead and just start with some major shading going on here. And I'm gonna lean back because I just want to be more loose with this. I'm not adding colored eyeshadow, but just using shading. That really made her eyes white though, didn't it? Okay, now. Put some hollow in her cheeks. And now major shading here. Now I'm gonna add like a dark area of hair this may look awfully severe Her neck is a little bit too small. Let's bring this out. And I, I just saw that when I was leaning back. I could just see. Okay. No.
I'm trying to just be more loose. All right, back to shading. All right, now I'm gonna take a cotton bud and see about blending some of this. Probably should have tested the blending ability before I got this far, but you know, live dangerously. That's what I say. It's my art journal, I'm not gonna sweat it. I'm not going out for a grade or anything, just Okay, I'm heading for the other pencil. See if I can get rid of some of the scratchiness. Cotton bud. Well, I, I'm so tempted to put in the rest of her hair, but I can't. There. Okay. Let's work on her face some more. Going back in with the, is this that beige? Yeah. I know I didn't want to darken up her nose, but the background is just showing through so much that I thought I would see if I can work on that just a little bit more. I think the fact that I added that shading, I, I can tell that I'm shaking my table. I think adding that shading just made this a lot more pronounced, but that's okay. All right. I'm going to take this graphite. Make a more definite line for her kind of eyeshadow, eyelashes place. I'm going to put in a little here. A little more here. And see if I can just gently shade in this nose. All right, let's see. My voice got quiet. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ugh, trying to pick up the cotton bud. That second pencil definitely is easier to manipulate with the cotton bud. I think I need some shading here. I'm 
All right. Now, I'm going to give her some pupils. And I'm going to use black. If I'm getting my head in the way, I'm sorry. Hello. I don't know if you can hear the rain, but it's really kind of nice to sit here and draw with a cup of coffee and being with you. I'm going to go ahead and add black right to this outer edge on the very most outer. Uh-huh. Now I want to add some shine in her eye and I'm going to go with the white for sort of like a little bit of shine may take a couple of scrubs over yep you can still see the color through but it is definitely getting lighter and then I'm going to put a more definite shine above. Now, let's see. I've got a gel pen. Get it started somewhere. Well, paper artist, do you have any paper? Got cardboard. Okay. I'm gonna put a little one, little dot, okay? And I'm just gonna give this a little more. I think that added some life to her. What do you think? I'm not still crazy about her nose, but I'm not sure what to do about it. I'm going to give her just a little bit of shine on her lip there. I tend to sometimes, in my opinion, as I add more, go a little too nuts with the white. And I'm trying to avoid that. Okay. I want to round her eye out. I'm going to get some gray. This is 70% gray, warm gray. That's a pretty dark one. I think I have something more in between. What is this? This is a cool gray, 70%. I'm going to go with the cool. I'm going right across her eye and then around on the edge right across her eye, rounding on the edge. I just want to create more of a rounded eye look. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. That didn't help me with her nose. Okay, white. We've got the dark. We need some light. And I'm liking this already. Yep. Just a little bit at the tip. And if I can just... I almost want to erase some of this. Because it's just like, it almost just looks to me like a dirty mark instead of shadow. Of course, it's it's like cleaning it off completely, but right now, I'm, it's all right. All right, now, maybe, maybe, what if I, all right, maybe that doesn't, I'm going to say put some on here like a paintbrush. If I just hold it ever to the side and go so light, 
and then okay I'm liking this better whoever was giving me that idea thank you all right I'm going to add more light between her eyebrow and her eye I'm gonna start with white which might be a little too harsh, but I'm gonna see if I can kind of blend it with the with a clean cotton bud. And just kind of work that graphite back up. But I just want there to be some light there. Okay, I'm liking that better. I'm really kind of liking this as a whole. I do. Okay, I am going to take this indigo and I'm going to just add ever so few eyelashes. Just like that. Okay, that's enough of that. I am happier with her having that. I'm gonna add a little this way to her brow. I, I'm happy with the white. It might be too much. I'm not really sure. I can rub it up a little. Yeah. Okay, her lips. Her lips just aren't smooth enough. Or something. I already like that better, but I also think it needs some more color. I don't want to get rid of the shine. I like that. But I just want to add a little more color. Let's see what that does. And I'm going over the whole lip. All right, I'm, I'm good with that. I'm going to just take the graphite. I'm going to give her just a couple of stray hairs. There. Oh, just to soften that a little bit. All right. What am I thinking? I really rather like it. I'm going to take, I think this part is just a little too heavy. I think I'm going to bring this closer to the eye. Not quite so far out. It's almost like I closed her eyes just a little bit too much. Well, what do you think? I think her throat could use a little more. Let's grab the right pencil here. Yep, I'm liking that.
just softening a little. Well, I am happy. I am going to grab a Sharpie. If you like this, please consider hitting the thumbs up for a like. Subscribe to my channel if you like this content. I do everything mixed media, soup to nuts, but today I was in a face mood. Thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.